Juventus' failure to win at Genoa has handed Juventus an opportunity. Beat Roma tonight and the Bianconeri would end 2023 just two points off the top. The Giallorossi, however, are fresh off a victory over champions Napoli and have a strike force with a point to prove. Former Juventus forward Paolo Dybala and former Juventus target Romelu Lukaku. Under the lights to end 2023, we're at Allianz Stadium for Juventus Roma. Juventus are determined to finish 2023 by cutting the gap at the top to just two points. Dybala takes the corner. Headed away by Danilo. Dybala tries again. That was Indica. This is Cristante. It's off the post. And I'm not sure it's changed. They had it covered. Watch here. I think there is a deflection by Vlaovic. And the ball kissed the post with Chesney. That couldn't have saved it. It actually seemed to brush the hand of Vlahovic, albeit it was behind his back. He turned away from the effort. Brenner has just signed a new contract. That's a lovely ball for Vlahovic. Rover have let him turn. Dusan Vlahovic going for goal, but it's off target. That's an absolutely brilliant ball by Bremer. They found Vlahovic unmarked. He could turn. The first thing in his mind was trying to shot from distance. It is a curious subplot to this game. Vlahovic against Lukaku. Yildiz has found Vlahovic. Vlahovic running through and almost picking out the top corner. Yeah, you said it. Patrick, it looks lovely since he uh, scored the last week. A brilliant header. Again, here showing decent pace. Going one against one with Mancini. Who decided not to go for the tackle, but even to try to block Vlahovic's shot. But it looks up for it. We spoke about the Roma supporter protest against the signing of Bonucci. So too were uh, Bianconeri fans not sold on the idea of Lukaku. And it's just over the top. Yeah, brilliant by Lukaku winning the second ball here. Bove, so brave. But he doesn't lack about spirit. And here Lukaku tried it, half volley. Here it's not easy to go in a 50-50 challenge with Gatti. Christensen getting forward, this is Mancini. Dybala, another inviting cross, again it was awkward, again Chesney stayed on his line. That's another outstanding ball for Dybala, he's the second one there, Bove has to attack it with desire to hit the ball, because it's a perfect ball on the back post, and even Zaleski had to attack the back post earlier because it's the second time that Dybal is putting this and this across. Gatti, Vlahovic trying to pin Llorente, he's done really well! And in the end there was an all-important block. Chini here, Llorente is not defending well because Vlahovic is using his body. Look here, both players, Paredes, and I think the last block has been made by Mancini. Outstanding defending by Roma captain. Yes. In it comes from Mancini. Rather unorthodox there from Locatelli. Yildiz has got there ahead of Llorente. Vlahovic makes his way into the middle. Yildiz with the trickery. He's found McKenny. Only Vlahovic in the middle. It's back towards Vlahovic. Good attempt. <laughs> yes, that's a great attempt. Because McKenna did everything well, Ildis as well here. Yeah. Look, Vlaovic in between, maybe three, three Roma players, but he's not scared to go for the worthy one, the Puskas goal. Nice attempt, and not far away from the post. Paredes looking for movement. Indica. That's an inviting cross. Cristante had made the run. Not properly cleared. This is Dybala! So close to a wonderful goal. That was the Quaresma special. The Trivela outside his left foot. By the way, we see Cristante doing this so many times this season, especially when he plays with the Paredes. And here, talking about magic, that wasn't far away. McKenny's going to throw the ball. Launched in towards Gatti, they've let it bounce. This is Kostic! Endicar with the 
most incredible save on the line. Here, Gatti Cosi, Avok in the box. And look the way he's Look, he realized earlier before anyone else on the part of the ball. He's going to go there. That's a fantastic. The look, look his position, his awareness. Fantastic. That's like a goal. Yes, probably later on. Came on using his pace. Kostic for Vlahovic, and Adrian Rabio is in here! And inside two minutes of the restart, Juventus get their goal. Slightly fortuitous in its construction, but Rabio has got his touch in front of goal back, and that is a big goal for the Bianconeri. Look here, here Rabio, give it go. We're going to check Rabiot's position there. He doesn't panic and score at the near post. We're going to have a check probably for the French position. But again, Vlaovic with a great assist with the back heel. That was Cristante winning the challenge. And then it's Christensen who actually diverts it away of Vlaovic, who has the presence of mind just to turn it round for Rabiot. And as you can see, he was clearly the right side of the last defender, Endica. And that's how you keep your cool. Yes, perfect by Rabio. Dika, look again, he was going and cover the far post. Baru Patricio couldn't save it. And look at the delight. Valvic, Kostic, Rabio. Kiesa, another direct runner. Nice give and go between him and Rabio. Kies has won it back here, Llorente has gone down, he was caught late by Vlaovic, who seems to be saying, stop crying. Yes, <laughs> moment of I think he caught... I don't know if it's Vlaovic that is touching Llorente, or maybe he twisted his ankle by himself. Kies obviously will provide some more legs compared to Ildis, especially in the counter in transition. Endica has stepped out of defence, it's his ball in. Danilo got a shout, but that's Christensen. Rabiot's let it bounce. Pellegrini, Dybala! Chesney got behind it. Pellegrini, time and space now for Dybala. This is Christensen. Dybala, and it comes from Mancini. Can Dybala deliver? Back it goes, Cristante! It hit Lukaku, and Juventus fans will have a field day with that. But a great possession, spell of possession, they managed to... I think there's a block. First, first there is a deflection by Bremer, then somehow it was way up. Pellegrini with the ball in. It's normally a free-kick specialist, that was poor. And now Chiesa can lead the counter, stepped away from Pellegrini. Where is forward, so to McKenney. Chiesa waits for Rilling. Chiesa, McKinney! Rui Patricio makes an all-important save and Roma is still alive. Yeah, but that's Juventus defending deep and then look, Chiesa, Ealing, we are McKinney, even Milik. That's wonderful to watch. And yeah, they create a chance, that's the way Juventus play. Chiesa couldn't get away from Mancini, but Ealing has found Milik. And here's Chiesa again. A second goal would kill it off. Chiesa. Illing. Chiesa is there. If he can sort his feet out, he certainly can. But the flag stops him in his tracks. And now he says to Simone Sotza, talk to the VAR. Give me the goal. It's all coming from Bremer going down. Look here, if you see... There is Ealing touch, but the last one looks like is the Roma player. Fabulous fancy footwork there from Federico Chiesa. Vlahovic had begun to celebrate, so too Pinsolio. Ealing's got something on it, and Juventus win again. Adrian Rabiot with the only goal, it came early in the second half. It's another impressive performance, it ends here, Juventus 1, Roma 0.